Hey there, welcome back. Okay, I've been wanting to do this video for a while because I have so many people ask me and I just didn't know myself for the longest time, how do you know if your expired seeds are still good? And this is something that I've talked about on the podcast, but what I wanna do is show you how you can know if your seeds are still good because depending on the species, sometimes they are still good and sometimes they're not. So this is a way, way to know for sure whether or not they're still viable, meaning they still have life in them and that they will grow into a plant that will produce more seeds for you for years to come. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, this is my handy dandy little seed sorter, <laughs> seed keeper, the keeper of the seeds. And I have some old seeds in here, I'm sure. Okay, these I got this year. These I collected, these are some old seeds here. But let's just take one of these and look at them and see. So those are saying used by December of 2016. And I have a lot more like that in here. Some seeds I know that I bought, I don't usually buy this brand, but I was at the dollar store for something and I saw they had them on sale for like seven cents a packet at the end of the season. And um, so I bought a bunch of them. And yeah, these are saying 12, 16. So these seeds are like four years old. So how do you know if they're still good or not? So what you want to do is a germination test. So you want to see, will these seeds germinate? Will they open up from their little, their little embryo into a, a plant and put down roots and all that good stuff? So this is how you do it. Okay, this is how I do it actually. So if you have some Ziploc bags, these are the gallon size. You don't have to use gallon size. You can use a smaller one if you want to. Actually, we used to do this when I was in elementary school. Yeah. I, I can remember back that far, but we used to grow seeds when we were in elementary school. And what we would do is we would take some wet paper towel. towel is pretty wet but it's not dripping wet so we don't want it to be sloshy we just want it to be damp pretty damp but not there's no drips coming off of that okay okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down 10 seeds because this is this is a math issue and it's just easy with 10 Okay, so I'm gonna put down 10 seeds. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoops, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just fold that over. And I want these to be flat, so hopefully you can see there are, I can see through that that paper towel, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten seeds. And then what I'm gonna do is, that, that rag is pretty wet. I'm gonna put this inside this Ziploc bag, but I'm not gonna seal it up. I'm actually gonna put this through a window or in a window. You can tape it on there or you can just prop it up, but I want this to be flush with the window because I want them to see sunlight. And I'm gonna label this, whatever seed packet I'm concerned may not be, they may be too old, whatever the situation is. I'm just gonna label it radish, radish seeds, okay? Now I'm gonna just put this in a window and we'll see what happens. So I know that if all 10 of these seeds germinate, that's 100% germination rate. This is, a, this is why this is a great uh, learning opportunity for your kids if you're homeschooling right now because of the whole coronavirus thing. Um, because it, it's a math thing and it's a science thing. So I think this is so cool. So if, all, if, if only five of these germinate, that's a 50% germination rate. So you see where I'm going with that. If just one of them germinates, then there's still some life in there you know you're gonna it's a 10% germination rate which is really really low 
most of my seed packets. So this is a brand new seed packet from this year. And it is telling me, uh, most of these say 85% uh, germination rate. So it'll have the germination rate on there, or this one does anyway. So I'm looking for at least, you know, 50%, 30%. So what this is gonna tell me when it comes time to actually go plant these seeds in the ground, if I have a germination rate of 50%, then I'm gonna probably wanna put at least two seeds in each hole because one of them's probably not going to germinate, whereas one of them will. And you know, it depends. There are some seeds that need some kind of special attention like scarification or stratification. This is just a general germination test okay <laughs> but some seeds need to have a period of cold they need to have a period they need to be kind of scratched up a little bit this is just a regular germination test okay and what I mean by that is if they start growing and this is why I like to put it in a flat bag not in a little paper cup with a, a wet paper towel like we did in school I want to see I want to be able to say this is the window that I want to use which it's not but I would just put that in the window with tape or how tape or however you want to do it but I can see really easily I can see what's going on in there I can see when they actually start to put off little roots or little leaves something where I can see where there's growth in there that does is for one thing it's going to give the seed sunlight which they need to germinate um, but I don't put this under a grow light because these, all the seeds have an, a circadian rhythm where they need periods of daylight, they need periods of dark, they need periods of daylight, they need periods of dark. See through here, I, I don't have to keep, you know, if this was my seeds, I don't have to keep opening everything up to see what's going on, what's going on in there. Ooh, what's going on? I'm just going to put this in the window seal and I'm going to forget about it for... Let's, let's see what the packet of seeds says the germination period is. So you have your germ, germination rate, meaning how many seeds will actually grow, how many of them are viable, how much life do they have in them. I also want to know days to germination. So um, this one says four to seven days. So I can forget about it. You know, another good idea to write on here, I wrote radish on here. Let's also put the date. So radish, this is a cherry bell radish. And I'm gonna put the date, which today's date is 4-17. So I know that if I come back and check it in, and it, this is where it says on the back of the seed packet, four to seven days. And so if I come back and check on it in four days, I can forget about it for like four days. This paper towel was wet enough that it should stay damp in here enough for germination. But again, I didn't seal it up because I don't want this to get all fungusy in here. I don't want mold to start to develop on here. And that's another, another really good point. I'm not going to plant these in the garden. It, no matter what the seed is, I'm not gonna go take it and plant it out into the garden because it's in this anaerobic environment. It's gonna have some kind, it's gonna start developing a, probably a pink type film looking thing um, that's not good. It's, it's not gonna get, it's not gonna have a good start at life if you plant it that way. If it has a fungus on it, it's not good. It's not good for your soil, it's not good for your plants, it's not good for any reason. I just wanna see are those seeds in that seed packet still good? And I'm only using 10 of those seeds. Usually you get a lot more than that. So yeah, I'm just gonna toss these after I find out whether or not these are still good. Okay. I can do this germination test for any of the seeds that I have questions about in here. I have had some seeds, some very questionable seeds before, and uh, they grew. And then I had some other seeds I really didn't have any question about, and they didn't grow. And so it really depends on that species and that variety. But before you throw those seeds away, check and see. You may have 50% of them are still good after 10 years. I hope I caught you before you threw all your seeds away. Y'all be safe out there. Bye for now.